So from your PowerPoint for chapter 10, I want to work through example four in this video. This one is talking about that we've got an order for drug Y, 200 micrograms per minute. Uh, available, we got 250 milligrams per 1,000 milliliters. So we've got to figure out our milliliters per hour, which that right there is going to tell you what your uh, desired answer is. So let's start by setting up a big old long fraction bar. <laughs> and we're looking at milliliter per hour is what we want to know. So our first fraction is going to have to have milliliters on the top. All right, so up here in our order and available, the only thing that says anything about some milliliters is this 1,000 milliliters. And it's going to get paired with the 250 milligrams. So from your available, we're working with our 1,000 milliliters is 250 milligrams. Now, what's next? Well, we have milligrams in the bottom, which means we need milligrams in the top over here. And there's nothing else up there about milligrams. But if we could think about a conversion from milligrams to micrograms, we could work with what's in our order. So up next, let's look at doing a conversion. Again, we have milligrams in the bottom, so we need milligrams at the top. And we know that one milligram is a thousand micrograms. And now for our next fraction, we can use our micrograms. So from our order, we were told that 200 micrograms needs to happen per one minute. So order tells us 200 micrograms happens every one minute. And we're out of information up here. That's all they gave us. But do we have the units that we need yet? I mean, the, the milligrams cancel, the micrograms cancel. We're left with the milliliter on top, but we have minute on bottom. And we really need it to be a milliliter per hour. So we are going to have to stick in an extra conversion that takes our minutes, 60 minutes is one hour. And now we should be able to cancel out those units, leaving us with milliliter on top, hour on bottom. Please check that here. I know I've been doing that all along for the entire semester, but on these big long problems, you are going to have to check all those units and make sure that you are getting what you think you need to be getting before you sit down and do the math here. Okay, so we're ready to multiply everything on the top. 1,000 times 200 times 60 is a big old number. <laughs> 250 times 1,000, one and one. So we've got our 250,000. And I use the commas just to keep track of where, how many zeros we're looking at here because you are gonna get some big numbers on these problems. So when you do your 12 million divided by 250,000, you should wind up with a 48 milliliters per hour as your answer. 